Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Joe McConaughey, AG7XH. Uh, he says, I have to wait until tomorrow to watch your video about loop antennas. I want to build a re receive only loop, but need to find info on protecting the preamp when transmitting on my other antennas at legal limit thoughts. Well, you definitely need to do that. Now, the signal strength from your transmit antennas goes down by the square of the distance. So every time you, let's say you've got it 10 feet away from the antennas, when you move it to 20 feet from away from the antennas, you're going to drop your signal by a fraction of four, not by a fraction of two. Okay, so if you can get 30 feet, 40 feet, so on, each time you double the distance, you cut the amount of radiation it receives by a factor of four. That can still be quite high. Uh, if your transmit antenna for the legal limit happens to be a Yagi up high, note that that radiation will largely go over the house. So if the loop antenna is down lower, uh, that may help. Now, I want to show you a technique that can be used uh, for limiting things. <clears throat> a technique that can be used for limiting things. Let's look at the whiteboard. Here you have two wires. These are the wires coming off of the, the round loop, okay? And these are the balanced input to the amplifier. Now, what you can do, and this is a common thing to do, get a couple switching diodes. One in 914 will do. Um, these are really easy to find. Okay, and put one like this. Okay. And put the other one like this. And you go, well, wait a minute here. We've got a dipole shorting the thing on each side. Well, not quite exactly. You will recall that before a diode can conduct, there has to be about 0.7 volts across it to conduct, 0 0.7. This acts as a limiter, okay? And, and, and if you do need to get stronger diodes, if you blow these out, uh, you can get stronger diodes. Uh, they all work about the same. I'm, this is the one, the one in 914 is the one that comes to mind. It's an RF switching diode. So, when there's a loud signal on here, let's look at the input voltage. Here it can be really high from your antenna. Now, if you come over here after passing through the, um, the diode, it gets clipped at plus 0.7 volts, and it comes down and gets clipped at minus 0.7 volts, and it gets clipped and so on. And so this is what the preamp has to deal with. Any signal that is below 7 tenths of a volt, which means almost all received signals, will go through that limiter without anything happening. But if you've got a transmitted signal nearby that induces a voltage of more than 7 tenths, that diode is called clamping. It'll clamp it at that voltage. It can't go higher than plus 7 tenths uh, peak or below minus 7 tenths peak. And that will protect the input to your uh, preamp. So you should do that. Giveaway number four is coming up. And this is giveaway number four right here. It's an antenna. It's an antenna by Alpha Delta. And it's uh, the model uh, DXEE, and it has traps for 40 and 20. So it'll work on um, whichever half of the 40 meter band you select. You can select like the lower half, so you can work FT8. You can select the upper half, so you can do sideband. Then it covers all of 20, all of 15, 
and the important part of 10 meters okay so it's got um, a uh, it's a fan dipole plus it's the trapped dipole it's a very nice antenna they're kind of pricey it's built like a Sherman tank it is very very sturdy it has another advantage it is only 40 feet long and yet it will cover 40 meters so, and it's got nice gray wire that's hard to see uh, this can be set up as an inverted V even only 20 feet high and so it'd be a great antenna in some HOAs that uh, will allow limited antennas but not the great big ones I kinda like this antenna uh, this was one of the antennas that I considered to be the reference station antenna but because it only covered part of 40 meters it was not selected it's still a fine antenna um, here's how you enter send a postcard QSL card or a simple uh, envelope with a single sheet of paper in it send it to Dave Kassler KE0OG PO Box 98 Ridgeway Colorado 81432 send to me the giveaway number which is number four giveaway number four okay put your name call sign your the address to which you want this mailed it'll come via United States Postal Service uh, priority mail and um, also include in there your phone number in case I need to get in touch with you Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate you coming to this channel and watching. I particularly appreciate your comments. So if you would add those, please do so. I can't get to every comment, but I do try to get the tenor of the comments for each video. And sometimes I'll just sit down for a couple hours and answer comments. Um, also, if you'd like to support this channel financially, you may do so by going to decastler.com. Um, slash support uh, you can do something as simple as send a one-time tip through PayPal uh, or uh, if you want uh, uh, you can uh, purchase licensing uh, videos on a memory stick or you can join patreon or you there's a couple ways on PayPal that you can set up recurring uh, contributions which is what patreon is to become a patron of the channel and I really appreciate those who do that because the channel funds allow me to pay an assistant who's sitting behind the camera right now and also to uh, buy things like this antenna I have down at my feet that's going to be a giveaway coming soon. And so with that, until we next meet, 73.